Welcome to Toronto Supercross. I'm here with Moto Concept Smart Top Racing's Michael Essie, the 800. Hey, uh, welcome to my home country. Ah, it's love to love to be here. It's a uh, good country. It's uh, lo love to be here. You're good people, and glad to be here. What's one thing about Canada that's different than America? <laughs> it's really cold. That's for one. <laughs> For two, I mean, obviously the racing is going to be good this weekend, but uh, you hear everybody that talks, and they're like, Canada, eh? So that's mm -hmm. for sure something that's different. Uh, all right, let's get to the track. Uh, track walk happened. Uh, what would you think? Uh, talk about the track tonight. The dirt looks pretty good, although maybe a tad rocky. A little rocky, but it's good that they sifted it out since last year, so I think it, ultimately it's going to be good. It looks a little bit looser. So Last year was considerably a hard pack, and this year it looks like it's going to be the complete opposite. It's going to be rutted, and it's going to be soft. Uh, season so far, some really good, some bad. You're still digging yourself out from the first two DNFs of the year. Uh, you're outside the top ten a little bit, uh, but talk about it. Yeah, the season's been so rough. I mean, it's uh, been like a season from hell. I mean, even if you ask anybody down the order, other than obviously Millsaps in the beginning of the season, every single rider would tell you that their season has not gone the way they want it to, all the way from Chad Reed to Bubba Stewart to even Ryan Villapoto to all the guys, you know, other than Davey, who started that season really strong and uh, – you know, it's just uh, it's a tough season. Everybody's fast this year and really consistent. It just makes the higher level that uh, you have to race against and all. You have to step your game up, so it's tough for sure. All right, that's Michael Essie. I'm Steve Mathis. For more, check out supercrossonline.com.